Hello everybody, this is Adam from Wheel Guns for Wheel Men, and today we are testing out my new knockoff GoPro that I got from China. And so we're going to be doing this in first person. Now, today's video is about how to make a very cheap budget cheek rest, or, or comb riser, however you want to look at it. Um, and so this is for a rifle that you put a scope on, and that uh, you want to be able to look through the scope for an extended period of time. Um, for instance, if you're just plinking a long time, or if you're uh, out sniping rock chucks or, or other varmint hunting when you're going to be laying down or sitting down with a bipod or some other sort of shooting stick and just looking through your scope at different little creatures for, you know, 20 minutes, an hour, two hours. And so, um, it's also good for target shooting. And so... What we're looking for here is uh, a couple things. The first uh, is we're trying to keep it cheap, and two, we want it to be comfortable. Now, one of the the things I bought was a dollar fifty, and that is moleskin padding. And the moleskin padding is a dollar fifty from Walmart, and it goes on top of the adhesive bandage which was two dollars, which goes around the foam here. Um, and the foam you can get for free basically in any package. So you just gotta look for some packaging um, and you'll find the foam. My Palmetto State Armory Upper came with some. And so, uh, yeah, you just find adhesive bandage, uh, self-adhesive, so just, you just wrap it around really tight, get the foam where you want it. You can uh, use rubber bands to keep the foam in place where you want it once you've found the right distance from your scope, you know, you gotta get the right eye relief. Also, want to make sure that your bolt will slide out on a bolt action, um, hence why this second piece of foam I had to make shorter um, so that the bolt can slide over the top. Uh, if I had two of the same foam, it was too high and the bolt was getting stuck. And so you should be mindful of that, and then once you got it where you want it, you just wrap it with the adhesive bandage, and then you do the moleskin because it just feels really soft versus the somewhat abrasive bandage. Um, you can use scissors to cut the moleskin uh, because they come in larger strips than you need. And yeah, for 350 plus some free foam and some scissors you already have, you can give yourself a cheap cheek rest. And that's my pro tip for the day. Please like and subscribe.